What is going on guys? I'm Jack and welcome back to Project Race Racecar. You joined me for a fairly early start this morning. It's about half eight in the morning, which is early for some people, I guess. Um, pretty excited today because it's finally time for the Tomei exhaust to go on the Skyline. Uh, it's going down to the engine tuner. We're just about to go down and drop the car off. Uh, it's also having the rear diffuser put on down at Corporate Customs. They're going to have the car for about a week, all in all. Uh, it's got an MOT to be done as well. Fingers crossed everything's okay on that. Um, we're just uh, on the way to drop the car down. So first things first, we need to get this in the Glanzer. Uh, Caroline's coming down in the Glanzer as well. Over there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're going to drop the car off. So uh, let's go crack, let's crack on and uh, get that done. Let's go. So there you go guys, the exhaust is all loaded up in the Glanzer. It's been a bit of a weird situation because the Skyline is actually, I think, quieter than, than Caroline's Galanza, which is really unfortunate. So um, in a minute, I'll, I'll demonstrate how how, how, loud, how loud that Galanza actually is. So fingers crossed after this has gone on, it will be, uh, be a hell of a lot louder, which is great. So, so you listen to how loud that is, that's pretty loud, right? For a little 1.3 turbo. That's just an idle. I mean, I, I know it's a cold start, but still. All right, so let's go start the Skyline, you see the difference. Oh, so you can see the noise difference guys. We're only running a little late, so we're gonna have to shoot on down to the engine tuner. So I'll catch up with you guys when we get down there. Let's go. So guys, we have made it down to the engine tuner. Um, dino room's just there. Not that we're gonna be using that today, but you may have seen from a previous video. Um, it's always nice to come down here because there's some awesome cars, which you can't quite see from here, but we'll have a walk up in a second. Uh, we're just gonna go get the car signed in, and then uh, we've both got to head off to work, unfortunately. So uh, the next thing you guys will see after we've had a walk up there will, uh, will be the collection day, but unfortunately I've got to wait about five days for that. Um, but nonetheless, it's gonna be uh, some really awesome ones done. So let's uh, let's go have a wander up and get the car signed in. Let's go. All right, guys. So the car has uh, has been dropped off. We're just uh, we're just heading back into Glanza, and uh, <laughs> and uh, and yeah. So uh, picking the car up on on Saturday. Today is now Monday. Glanza noises. Yeah, I've got to wait till Saturday to put the car up, unfortunately, which is going to suck. Uh, but it's going to be awesome when the, when the exhaust is on. And the diffuser as well. I'm going to drop the diffuser off to Colbert Customs this evening, because unfortunately we couldn't get it in the Glanza. Uh, it's a bit big. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to drop that off. I will catch up with you guys on Saturday when I pick the car up. See you then. So guys, it is Saturday, which means it's now time to go and collect the Skyline from Engine Tuner with the new titanium exhaust fitted to see how it sounds. As you can tell from the big grin on my face, I'm pretty damn excited about that. Um, however, there is some bad news. Um, I had a call in the week from Colbert Customs who had the car to fit the diffuser. Um, they basically ran into some problems fitting it. Um, there was no fitting instructions supplied uh, by the manufacturer of the diffuser. Um, there's quite a bit of fabrication work that's needed to actually mount it to the car. So they basically said they won't fit it uh, for that reason. Um, however, uh, I've got hold of a chap called Julian at Pro4M Engineering or Pro4M Motorsport. Um, they, amongst other things, do metal fabrication. He's very kindly um, agreed to take the car today and have a look at that on Monday for me uh, and try and get the diffuser fitted, which is, I can't thank him enough for that. That is brilliant news. Because I was pretty disappointed in the week when um, I found out the diffuser wasn't going to go on, um, as I'm sure you guys are as well. Um, so, yeah. So that's the that, that's the bad news out of the way. We'll probably go and visit Julian today and uh, drop the car off there, uh, and then pick the car up again on Monday. So the diffuser is probably going to be a separate video just because I don't want to break it up too much and I don't want it to be too long. So we're still going to go pick the car up from Engine Tuner, see what it sounds like. Uh, I cannot wait. Uh, it's been a long time coming fitting this exhaust. It's going to make a huge difference to the car. Let's crack on and get down to Engine Tuner. Hi right, guys. So we are just heading down to Engine Tuner. Um, Caroline's going to drive in the Fiesta. Um, the weather's pretty grim today, so um, fingers crossed we can uh, avoid all the showers. But let's, uh, let's jump in the car. Let's go. It's going to be a bit of a squeeze. Just pulling into engine tuner now, guys. She. There she is. Yeah. So 
So guys, we are down at Edging Tudor, the car is here. Uh, I've got the keys and I've got permission to make some noise. Let's, uh, let's start her up and see what she sounds like. Oh, ignore the squeaky fan belt. The fan belt is tightening up. Should go away in a minute. That's quite a lot louder than stuff. I don't know if it's pick being picked up on camera. Just wait for this, uh, wait for this fan belt to shut up. Oh, okay, there we go. Let's go, uh, let's go and listen to how she sounds on idle. As you can tell from the grin on my face, man, am I happy. Oh my god. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh my god. Right. I don't, I, I, I've lost words. That is worth every penny. Wow. <laughs> That's, um, Let's get down to Julian at Pro 4M uh, and see what the car's like when we go for a drive. See how droney it is, see, see what sort of noise it makes. Uh, because he's absolutely lashing it down right now. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, yeah, let's jump in the car and let's, uh, let's get down to Pro 4M. So guys, we're back in the dry. Um, we're just gonna head over to Julian, as I said, uh, over at Pro 4M Engineering uh, and drop the car off so that we can sort the diffuser out. As I said, the diffuser will probably come in another video, but we'll, uh, we'll head over and see Julian, find out what the plan is and, uh, and then wrap up the video there. That means you guys get to enjoy what the car sounds like from inside. Fingers crossed the microphone picks it up okay, but from what I heard from outside, it sounds absolutely insane. Uh, it's so loud. It's not even just that it's loud, it makes a fantastic noise as well, which is which is exactly what I wanted. I didn't want anything too droney or ridiculously loud. I didn't, I didn't want to straight pipe it or anything like that, just because it's just insanely loud. Let's start the car up from the inside and see uh, see what sort of noise it makes with the, uh, the window slightly open. So, let a bit of water in. <laughs> The fan belt again. I need, need to get that sorted. There we go. All right, it's still on a bit of a cold start. Um, so the revs are a little bit high. There we go, dropping down. That's actually quite nice. Um, on idle, you know, low revs, it doesn't actually make too much noise. But yeah, let's uh, let's get on over to Julian. I'll, uh, I'll set the camera up. Let's go. Goes for the slightly strange camera angle. Um, I'm still missing my uh, suction cup that goes on the window up here. So I'm having to use the vent mounted one, which is not ideal. So apologies for the angle, but um, hopefully the audio is coming out okay. Get the seatbelt in. Right, I've got to remember how to drive this car now. It's been a week. Cool, I got the wipers. Let's go. <laughs> Very nice rumble. It makes a very good sound, guys. I've only hit 2,000 RPM. <laughs> that was only 3,000 RPM. <laughs> montage of just me smiling for about 20 minutes. <laughs> what a sound guys. What a sound. It's got little burbles as well. I mean I had little burbles before but they're so much like more pronounced and, and louder now than they were. Um, obviously because it's a bit of a louder exhaust. Um, This is what cars are all about, isn't it, guys? Just putting a smile on your face. And it can be for the simplest things. Like, exhausts are pretty simple, right? You know, it's not like you're strapping a big turbo to a car, but it makes a massive difference. A massive difference on how the car feels. We're uh, we're just we're just about to arrive at uh, Pro 4M, according to my sat nav, at least, anyway. Just trying to work out exactly where we're going. I think it's in here. Yeah, it's in here. So we just got to find it, because I don't know exactly where it is. Uh, not been here before but I'm hoping there's going to be a sign. Fingers crossed there's going to be a sign. 
So guys, we've just got down to Julian at Pro4M uh, Engineering, uh, and I apologize for the weather. It's pretty horrendous out here today. Um, as you can see, my hair is an absolute mess. Um, so we just dropped the car off. He's gonna uh, get the diffuser fitted over the next couple of days, and then we'll pick the car up. I'm gonna put that into another video, um, just because we've got some other stuff that we've just shot with, with Julian as well, um, which is really interesting. So if you um, if you aren't subscribed already, make sure you hit the subscribe button uh, down, down below, because we've just had a tour of Julian's shop, and it's absolutely awesome. Um, so I'm looking forward to bringing you guys that. Um, there will be more on the car, obviously, on the channel. Um, um, once we get the car back, it's been a bit rushed today, so apologies for that if the video has been a bit bitty. Uh, but uh, we will get some more sounds of the car and uh, more stuff going on. I'm going to head home now because I'm getting soaking wet. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, and also follow us on Instagram to see more pictures of the car and all the other stuff we, uh, we get up to as well behind the scenes and whatever. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Catch you again soon. Bye.